In health news, breaking the stigma of mental illness. That's what supporters are saying about the impact of some milestone legislation. News 8 medical reporter Josh Mementa in our New Haven newsroom with more on how long delayed mental health parity law affects patients and health care providers. Jocelyn? Darren and Sonia, for years now, people with mental illness had higher deductibles, co pays, and restrictive treatments compared to those coping with more physical medical issues. This parity law breaks through the roadblocks that many of the mental health fields say hindered a patient's recovery process. Yes. It's a Thursday, yeah. These are members of the social club at Bridges in Milford, a community support system for people facing the challenges of mental illness, substance abuse. They know all too well the barriers of getting the care they need. I only qualified for um, an outpatient program that I would have to pay for out of pocket, and uh, I just couldn't afford that, and uh, therefore, uh, took longer to recover from the depression than it normally would have. All right, Karen Evans is a case manager here. When people think of mental illness, they think of people like the kid at Sandy Hook or the guy at the Naval Yard. I don't even want to name their names. You know, these are the faces of mental illness when it is not true. I am the face of mental illness. The people I work with are the faces of mental illness. Now the people she works with are getting the help they need through the release of the Mental Health Parity Act. Before we even see the client, we need to talk to the insurer and explain um, what types of service we're recommending. Barbara DeMauro heads up the services offered here. If they have a sore throat or diabetes or, you know, they have a sick child, um, it's oftentimes seamless and that's not their experience when they're um, needing the types of services that we provide. Roadblocks like high copays, deductibles, and visit limitations in health plans are now on par with those for medical surgical benefits. Some of our clients that have um, high copays um, uh, choose not to seek treatment or get very brief treatment because they can't afford the co-pays. That's expected to change with the parity law. Hopefully it will encourage people and empower people and embolden people to say, you know what, this is finally accepted, it will finally be paid for, and now I can finally go get the help that I've known I needed for so long. There are also less restrictions for out-of-network benefits and prescription coverage. Connecticut healthcare advocate Vicki Veltri tells me the rule will apply to most health plans, including those offered in our state's health insurance marketplace. She says her office will push for full enforcement of the law. Sonia?